Hey, just dancing real quick because we're going to learn about symmetry. Symmetry. Yeah. If you don't know what that is, that's okay. You are about to find out, like right now, all right? Look at this triangle. It's a yellow triangle with a red border. Sometimes warning signs on the road look like this. To show you how symmetry works, I'm going to place this line down the middle of this triangle. Okay, it's still one triangle, but now it has two sides. Do you notice anything about the two sides of this triangle? Uh-huh. Both sides match each other perfectly, don't they? That's pretty neat. And that's actually what symmetry is. This line is called a line of symmetry. A line of symmetry. If you were to draw this line down the middle of this shape, both sides would match. Aw, look at this butterfly. Does this picture of a butterfly have symmetry? Yeah. If we place a line down the middle of this picture of a butterfly, you can see both sides match each other. Yes, this line is called, do you remember? A line of symmetry. Yeah, a line of symmetry. We know it's a line of symmetry because both sides match each other. Actually, butterflies are symmetrical in real life. The patterns on both of their wings are identical to each other. They match. Butterflies are symmetrical. Let's check out some of the letters and see which ones have symmetry. We can try the first letter, the letter A. Does the capital letter A have symmetry? Yeah, it does. The capital letter A has one vertical line of symmetry, right here. Now, how do we know that's a line of symmetry? Well, we look at both sides. Do both sides match? Yes, great job. Both sides match each other. And if both of those sides match, you know the capital letter A is symmetrical. It has symmetry. That's pretty cool. I like symmetry. Hey, next, how about we look at the capital letter Y? Does the capital letter Y have symmetry? What do you think? Yeah, it does. The capital letter Y has one vertical line of symmetry. You can see it right here. We know it's a line of symmetry because we look at both sides to see if they match. Do they match? Uh-huh, you got it. Both sides match each other. Aw, best friends. I mean, I assume they match, you know, they might be friends. When the two sides match, that tells us the capital letter Y is symmetrical. It has symmetry. Pause for a moment, even the music, okay? I need to share something with you. And no, it's not that my true dream and passion is to make cat-themed electronic dance music in honor of Mr. Whiskers, of course. It would be in honor of you, Mr. Whiskers. Let's be honest, it's actually a pretty good idea. I think people might like it. No, this is just something some people don't realize about symmetry, okay? Here it is. Lines of symmetry don't have to be vertical, meaning lines of symmetry don't have to go up and down. Lines of symmetry don't have to be vertical. Take the letter C, for example. Does the letter C have symmetry? Well, if we try a vertical line of symmetry, it would seem like the answer is no. These sides don't match. But wait, if we try a horizontal line of symmetry, do both sides match? Yeah, they sure do. So does the letter C have symmetry? Yes, it does. That means the letter C is symmetrical. Oh, wow. Here are more butterflies. They are symmetrical. They have symmetry. But I don't think they know that. They go about their whole lives, and I don't think they ever figure that out. Wow. Someone should tell them, right? Eh, I don't know. Okay, let's try the letter L. Does the capital letter L have symmetry? Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's check with a vertical line first. Then we can just look at both sides. Do they match? Yeah, they don't match. This is not a line of symmetry. 
Hey, that's okay. Let's check with a horizontal line, all right? Do both sides match? You're right. They they don't. What? No, no symmetry. Oh. Okay, wait. What's Rover doing on the screen? And what's with the sad music? It's okay that the capital letter L doesn't have symmetry. It's fine. We don't have to be sad. Rover, I promise you, you don't have to be sad. Look, if something doesn't have symmetry, it's this special thing called asymmetrical. Asymmetrical, that's a long word. Asymmetrical. If a letter, picture, or shape has no symmetry, it's asymmetrical. Let's look back on the capital letter L. Remember, the capital letter L has no symmetry. We tried to see if it had a vertical line of symmetry, but these sides don't match. If the sides don't match, you have no symmetry there. Then we tried to see if it had a horizontal line of symmetry, but again, the sides did not match. So there is no horizontal line of symmetry either. The capital letter L has no symmetry. That means the capital letter L is asymmetrical. Asymmetrical means it does not have symmetry. There are other letters that are asymmetrical too. Look at the capital letter R. Let's try a vertical line of symmetry first. Do these sides match? You've got it, they don't match. Wait, how about a horizontal line of symmetry? Do these sides match? Yeah, they don't match either. The capital letter R is asymmetrical. Wait, how about a lowercase r? Can you tell just by looking at it? Is a lowercase r symmetrical or asymmetrical? Uh-huh. A lowercase r is asymmetrical too. When you're looking for symmetry, you are looking to see if the sides will match. The lowercase letter r is asymmetrical because none of the sides match. If you try a vertical line of symmetry, these sides don't match, do they? And if you try a horizontal line of symmetry, these sides don't match either. Aha! A treasure map! <laughs> Actually, this is just a regular map that looks really old. I tried to find footage of a treasure map that has our last letter, the letter X on it. Okay. But, you know, they have to keep the treasure maps secret. Maybe that's why I can't find that. Okay. But the letter X is the last letter we're going to look at. I'm so excited because you are quickly becoming a symmetry expert. Okay. So let's, let's look at the letter X together. Now, just by looking at it, do you think it's symmetrical? Hmm. Is the letter X symmetrical? Yes, it is. We can try a vertical line of symmetry first. Do both sides match? Yeah, they match. But here's the cool thing. We can try a horizontal line of symmetry too. Do both sides match? Uh-huh, they do. That means the letter X has two lines of symmetry. Wow, that's pretty neat. Be warned, pirates. Some pictures, letters, and shapes have more than one line of symmetry. <laughs> okay, let's tie all of this together. When you are looking for symmetry, look for sides that match. The line down the middle that shows symmetry is called a line of symmetry. A line of symmetry. If it has symmetry, it is symmetrical. If it doesn't, it is asymmetrical. And if it is symmetrical, it might have more than one line of symmetry. So keep that in mind. You did such a phenomenal job. Have fun looking for symmetry all around you, looking for sides that match. Thanks for learning about symmetry with me. A couple of things real quick. 
First, if you haven't subscribed and you enjoyed the video, click on that subscribe button. There are so many fun videos to watch and you can stay in the loop with new uploads. Second, I want to give a special thanks to everyone who is a patron. You all are so amazing. Membership starts at just $1 and every member gets homeschool pop tattoos sent to them. I address the envelopes myself. It's true. You can click the link below this video or visit homeschoolpop.com. It means so much to me, so thank you. And of course, you know this already, but you are awesome and I cannot wait to see you on the next learning video.